Greetings and blessings, beautiful people. Welcome to Nanava's Kitchen. Let's make some roasted garlic. Very simple recipe, but it is bold in bringing you those flavor boosting characters into your savory dishes, your meaty dishes, your rice dishes, just name it. So I have a whole lot of peeled garlic, which I have just poured some fresh thyme onto. If you have dry thyme, that'll work as well. You can also use rosemary as a substitute herb. I also add a little bit of salt to it. And then I'm going to proceed by adding my extra virgin olive oil onto it. Because we're roasting, we're going to need this fat. And this is very healthy fat. So win, win. All right, so pour that on there. And I have left all the ingredients, including their um, quantities in the description box um, for your convenience. So please be sure to check it out. Make sure you stir everything to combine. And then basically what you want is to ensure that every piece of garlic is coated with the oil, all right? And then we're going to roast it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and 30 minutes or however long it takes to reach your preferred level of caramelization. One of my goals today is to uh, dry these out as well because I will be storing them at room temperature. So therefore I want them to have a long shelf life. So I really wanted them to stay in the oven longer to get them to dry out as well. So I go in at the 45 minute mark and stir it up because that's a necessary step to ensure an even roast throughout. All right, and you can see also some of the garlic could use a little more time in the oven because what again I'm going for is that brownness. I really want them to caramelize throughout and it took me an hour and 30 minutes. So they went back into the oven after stirring for an extra 45 minutes and voila, they are sweet. You can take a clove of garlic like that and pop it in your mouth and you will have a very pleasant experience. Comparing that to eating raw garlic, this is a more pleasant experience. I'm telling you, you taste one of these, it's sweet, it is caramelized and it's just perfection. So I transfer them after they've cooled down into these sterilized mason jars and then I pour in some more extra virgin olive oil because the oil is what will preserve these as they sit at room temperature on your countertops for months. They will not go bad and use them in many exciting ways. I used them recently in my honey roasted barbecue spread when I shared my crispy fried chicken sandwich and let me tell you, it was a hit. Friends, I hope you learned a thing or two and are inspired to try the recipe. Thank you all so much for your love and support for subscribing. Friends and family, please make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in anava's kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here